Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide here in 2023, and it's raining, it's 6.30 in the morning, but we're safe temporarily, <laughs> and we've got some food, but our weapon is a dubious one indeed. We've got a frying pan. So, what if we wanted to make a better weapon? I'm going to click on the crafting menu, which looks like a, a, a straight edge ruler and a hammer over here. An angled ruler, I suppose I should say. And we're going to go into carpentry. And we're so good at carpentry, right? But let's just type in general, okay? And we're going to click filter all so we're looking at everything. Let's look. Can I make a club? Okay. Um, what kind of weapons can I make? No. I can make a spear for sure. And a spear actually would be pretty good. All right. So can I make a spear? How do I make one? Right. So I can attach all kinds of spear uh, stuff to a spear. So if I wanted to create a spear, I just need a plank. Okay. And a kitchen knife to kind of like sharpen it. And then what we can do is say, all right. Then we could attach, you know, a knife to the spear and make an attached kitchen knife spear and just have like something really good. But to get that, we first need the crafted spear and we need a duct tape. This is going to help us fight enemies a little bit better than this, you know, frying pan, which is funny, but it makes a lot of noise when it hits enemies. It doesn't have a lot of reach um, and it's not super strong. So let's just see if this would be better. So planks we can get how do we get a plank well we just break stuff so let's open the door and let's come out and let's just say hey we need a plank so i'm just going to walk over to this table and i want to disassemble it but if i want to do that well i need a saw and i need a hammer right and remember we don't have those tools right now we haven't found them but if i look at the map i am here in this house where we died the first time there's planks all over the place because we had tools and we were practicing disassembling. So we can go there and get ourselves some planks. So why not do that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on uh, pick up and I'm going to close this and this and I'm just going to pick this up and we're going to go ahead and then push tab and set this chair right there. Okay. And I'm going to click this to quit that i'm gonna push c uh so we crouch and before we go out we're a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty and oh we actually have somebody at our back door um which is unfortunate but it's boarded up so you know they can just st sit there and wait uh, we'll drink and let's see let, let us actually look in the inventory and see if we have anything um out here yeah i'm gonna eat i'm gonna open the chili and I'm going to go into my own inventory, okay? And I'm going to eat half of this chili. Get rid of our hunger. I'm also, okay, while we're here, um, we're fine on encumbrance. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this cooking pot, put it in my bag. And now it's heavy. I don't want to do much with this, okay? But... I'm going to put it outside just to demonstrate uh, what we can do with it. Okay, I'm going to open this door. I'm going to zoom out, make sure there's no other zombies. Now, if I take this, okay, and I just drop it on the ground, you'll see that this automatically fills up with water because it's raining. And so we can use that later if we want. All right. Now, we could go fight that zombie back there. And we, unfortunately, we probably should. I don't want him always there if I need to come back here and sleep. And currently, it's my resting place. So, let's go ahead and take care of this zombie. That water we will have to boil by building a fire. And we don't need to do that right now. But what we should do right now is um, talk to this zombie about why he shouldn't be here. Okay? So, we're going to sneak up on him. And we're just going to hold right click, get our weapon out. And here he comes. And we can punch him in the face with the pan backhand we're playing tennis with this guy we 
got him, and we're just going to stand on him and smash him. And that's what you get for wearing shorts in the rain. Okay, let's check out his inventory. He has all purple on. He's like dressed like Grimace from McDonald's and or he loves the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know. But anyway, he's gone. I'm going to push I to clear that off of our screen. And you know what? It's raining. So we can actually do a little bit of running here. It's cool. So we can get away with just running. And uh, this will help train some of our skills and just get us around faster. So with the drop temperature, I'm just going to enjoy the opportunity to sprint. Now, um, we did heat up eventually because we're just wearing so many clothes. So you want to just pause and, you know, let yourself cool down. Let's just be in the habit of doing that nice 360 around. Make sure there's no baddies. And we just follow the trail of bodies that we've built in our quest here in Project Zomboid to try to survive. Oh, goodness. Uh, there's a zombie right there. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's handle this. Boy, she's got a, a dress on and a, and a bun. She kind of looks like a, a librarian. Oh, there's another one, unfortunately. Get out of here. All right. Oops. Okay. Oh, there's so many. All right. So, in this case, let's go ahead and close the door. All right. I really just want one plank. And I'm going to grab this plank. Okay. And I'm going to open this window. And just leave. And they're going to beat down the front of the, the house, but that really doesn't concern me. Get out of here. I'm out. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave them behind. Because there was a lot of them, and I just don't really feel any particular interest in fighting them. And remember, discretion is the better part of valor. There is now a zombie down here that we're going to have to work with. Um, and that's okay. All right, we'll zoom in to make this fight a little easier to see. And we'll hold right-click and just walk away. Oh, dear God. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm better at moving in certain directions than others. Let's check out our health. And um, we are bleeding... From our hand, we got a laceration, okay? So, um, we need to fix this. Now, here, how do we do that? We just close this up. And let's go ahead into our inventory. Let's pick up... Mm, no, let's go. So, what happened there was um, I was trying to walk the wrong way and face the wrong way at the same time. And it's just a trick of motion in this game. Um, I'd almost like to prefer to play it sometimes with a controller. I'm not very good with the WASD keys. Uh, and so your, my experience in this game is that um, I'm bad at it. And I have to die, you know. But our armor really protected us there. All we got was a, uh, a cut on our hand. And so we can go take care of this. So this will be a good exercise. We didn't get bit. Okay, so if you check our health, we have not been bitten. We got lacerated, okay? So we got a scratch or a cut. Um, so we should be okay. All we need to do is attend to this. Now, if we start seeing symptoms like we got the Nox uh, infection, well, then there's that. But for now, this will give us a good time to uh, fix ourselves up, right? So let's go. Let's be safe for a bit while we do this. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this chair and I'm going to put it in front of the door just so we can operate here in some kind of safety all right I'm going to exit this and let's go ahead and open up our inventory and see what we've got 
this character actually doesn't have a lot. Um, so we need to deal with this wound, and that's not too bad. Okay, so here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to go, and I'm going to just look around on the ground until we find some, uh, like a sweater. Okay, I'm going to rip this clothing up. Okay, and when we rip it up, we will get some dirty rags, okay? And we can apply these as a bandage, but we want to clean them. So let's see if there's any soap or anything in here. Um, okay, I want to clean a rag, and I'm going to clean all of them. So you can just clean them. You right-click on the water source to clean these rags, okay? And now you'll see that I have um, some... Uh, cleaned items okay so what we can do then is go to this and I can right click and use these ripped sheets as a bandage okay so you can right click your injury and bandage it up and it's not a great bandage okay but it's clean you don't want to put something dirty on there you don't want to get infected now if you have better stuff if you have clean sterile bandages um, adhesive bandages that's fantastic. You can click them from your inventory. So like I can go to my rip sheets, I can right click them and I can make a splint or I can apply them to an injury from here. Or uh, this was a great tip given in the YouTube comments by a viewer. Thank you so much. You can actually go to your health tab and just right click from here as a shortcut on your injury. You can take off the bandage or you can keep it there. Okay, so we have a little bit of pain. This is a Moodle that is affecting us, but if we simply wait it out we should be fine or if we had painkillers we could take those all right now i'm gonna go over here and i am going to drink we are thirsty and we're a little hungry so let's just eat the rest of the chili okay so we're back home and we're safe now we are home and we have our knife and we have our plank. So let's see about crafting. Can I make um, a spear? I can. All we need to do this is have something sharp like a stone or a knife or a machete. Okay, so I'm gonna craft a spear, all right? And I'm just gonna click craft it, all right? And we made one. So we have a crafted spear. Look at this thing, okay? This baby Look how much damage it does compared to our frying pan. Okay. Now we're going to actually see if we can attach. Okay. The kitchen knife to the spear. We need duct tape. We need two units of duct tape. Now you can actually. Um, mm, you can't make it. I'm thinking of seven days to die. You can't make tape in this. We need to find some. I can also slice the salami so we can eat it, which is hilarious. But even so, even in this state without having anything attached to the spear. We're going to look for tape now. So uh, we weren't really picking that up as much before. This weapon is a million times better than what we've got. So we're going to equip this, okay, in both hands. It, it's better when used this way, all right? And now, okay, um, I'm going to take this frying pan and I'm going to, uh, we could, we can't repair it. Um, we could attach it to our back if we wanted to, but I really don't. I don't see a reason to actually um, have this right now. Um, the frying pan as a weapon, but, you know, we've got the knife. It's not doing a lot for us. I'm going to drop it on the ground just to make our bag a little lighter. Now, the disadvantage, of course, of this spear that we've crafted, I'm going to stand up so you can see it. And check this out. It's a lot bigger range, okay? And it's it's strange. You don't like... I don't know how to explain it, but you don't really poke people with it. You kind of do a sweeping motion. You see it? But it has bigger range, and it will devastate things. So we have a much better weapon. As you've seen several times, I'm terrible at the combat in this game. I still love it. I still have a great time with it. I just usually try to run. Um, but I want to demonstrate combat for you, and you just see how bad I am. But if you have a better weapon like this, okay, or the machete that we had with our previous character, you will be in much better shape. 
Now the only downside is because we're carrying it in both hands, of course, we can't have a suitcase or a garbage bag to carry stuff. We need to find a backpack like our first character had, and we will, okay? But right now we don't have that. So let us just stroll around and see um, if there's anything that we want not yet okay no problem so let's go ahead and um get out of here and just keep exploring so i'm going to tab i'm going to say pick up this chair and put it down over here and let's just see what's out there undoubtedly more danger for us but at the same time Let's check this house. I went back to that place with all those zombies um, because I wanted to get a plank and I knew one was there and I didn't have the, I don't have the tools handy to get one. But remember that all those zombies are still located there because of the house alarm that we set off. So let's just get away from that huge group of zombies, all right? And I'm going to close the inventory, push I, and just look around. Make sure that we're safe for a moment. Looks good. And I'm going to just look at the map and say, okay, we are here. We need to kind of move um, south to get to this other house. We're going to have to pass through some trees, which I don't particularly like. Because they just... The rain and the trees are really doing a number on our field of vision. Uh, so we can get surprised, but... I still think it's worth it to try to find uh, some better stuff. So there's like a little fence here that we just climb through. Um, okay, so there's a bunch of trees, so I'm just going to be really careful. There's a clear path down here, so let me take this. And here's the house, okay. You can hear the zombies as well, especially if they are alerted to your presence. I need some tools. I need a backpack. I need tape. There's a lot that I want. All right, so let's check this house out. It's got a car. I always like to check the perimeter of the house, okay? Because it just gives a good indication of like what's going on outside. And you can see if the windows are busted. Has anything come in? And what I like to do with the outside of the house is just peek in, if you can. These all have drawn curtains, um, which is super interesting. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and just see what's in the front yard. Oh, this is actually the backyard. Oh, they have a, a sliding patio door. So can we see in the house through here? We can. Does there look like there's any zombies in there? There doesn't. What about in this room? That looks fine. This actually looks really good. It's a huge house. There's lots of trash cans back here, which is great. Now, this is the first time we've ever seen a car. We'll get trash bags and stuff in a moment, but I'm still wary of zombies, so I want to look around. When you get to a car, there will be special interaction menus. So first of all, this green box will appear, okay? And if I go to the inventory, all right, I can push E and get in the car. All right, so now I am in the car, and I can loot the seats, and I can look in the glove box. There's duct tape, how about that, and a map and some adhesive tape. I'm going to take all of this out of the glove box. All right, and that's it. So I'm going to push E again to get out of the car. Now, once you're in, actually, let me show you this. When you get in the car, you can push V to bring up this radial car menu. You can switch seats you're in. You can turn on the different aspects of the car you can open the windows lock it sleep in here if you want um and i'm gonna exit this car is not running at the moment and it looks pretty beat up but at the back here we can push e to open up um the glove or the trunk and there's a sack in here which is actually pretty good um and a tote bag And some toilet paper. 
All right, so we're going to take all of these things and just put them in our bag. Okay, fantastic. Now, also, you can go around... Uh, I'm going to zoom out just to make sure I don't get jumped while I'm looking at this car in the rain. You can go to the front of the car, okay? And you can um, press E to kind of, like, try to look under the hood. And this will give you a menu about the health of the car. This car is actually in good shape. Like, the windows are busted. Um, there's a little bit of gas inside. And the engine is in bad shape, but it's working. So this car could actually drive, which is sweet. So, you know... Um, one thing you might want to do here is just go to your map, and you can say, all right, we're down here, and you can put an indication that there is a car right here if you want, right? So, like, in blue, you know, we could put, um, a, a note right down here that just says car, so that, you know, um, we know, hey, there's a car right there. And that's cool. All right. But for the time being, I'm not worried about a car. A car is super good um, later when w the power gets shut off. And we might want to drive around and be able to... But we can't get into the garage just yet. That's the garage door. Um, we might want to be able to pick up something like a generator or something really heavy and move it. And you need a car for that. All right. And I don't see anything. Okay. Let's see if we can get into this window. So I'm going to kind of cut through the hedge and just hold E. I'm going to try it again. It's not working very well for us. Okay, let's get into this window, see if we can. We did. And we're going to just hold E and jump in. And let's look. We're good. All right, I'm going to close the window. I'm going to close the curtains. Sweet. All right. Um, now, I do want to explore. Oh, there's a zombie on the... You can see something's trying to beat through the door. Okay. So then in that case, I'm going to actually open the curtains. And I'm going to open the window just in case um, this fight goes badly. All right? And I want to just bail. But I think we're going to... This house is so good, I want to have this happen. So we might need to just open the door and fight this out. Uh, well, I thought I saw the door shaking. Did I just imagine that? Huh. I thought for sure that I saw some pounding on the door. Okay, interesting. Well, cool. As I say that, I'm going to get just annihilated by some sneaky zombie. Um, that, like, ran away. But that didn't happen. All right, you can see the bandage on my hand. Okay. I'm actually going to um, close the window, the curtains here. Just further reduce my chances of being seen, if that matters. All right, and let's just get the weapon ready. There's a zombie here, and we need to make sure it's dead. It is. It's got that reddish tint to it. Okay. Now, let's... We've got a lot of rooms to explore. We looked in some of these, but we couldn't look in them all. Yeah, sometimes there's just like, a, I don't know if it's my V-Sync, but there's just a bit of a side-to-side -side shimmy to the doors that just made me assume that it, there was a bad guy in there. All right. And I'm going to just poke in here. Oh, what is this? Are these like weapon safes? Oh, no, these are just cool cabinets. All right. I thought these were like... Okay, okay. Premium Technologies Wonky Talkie. All right, interesting. And let's see, there's a toolbox. Anything in that? Ooh, there's a radio. Okay. Um, let's just look through all these. Toolbox. It's empty. And that's empty. I am going to take the toolbox, right? Because it looks empty to me, but sometimes I get tricked by containers to see if they're actually empty. So I'm going to just say, hey, um, you know... Equip secondary really fast. And then, can I look in here? Yeah, it is indeed empty. And we're just going to drop it. I don't need that. Uh, I'm going to favorite this item. 
And I can even put it down here um, on my back if I wanted. I don't really want to, though. I'm just going to um, have it on my back so I can, like, quickly put the spear away. So all I did to put this on my back was I just dragged the spear from my inventory onto my hotbar. You can also attach stuff to your belt, okay? Like, if I want to attach this kitchen knife to my belt, you know, I can put it on my left or right of my belt. And it does reduce your encumbrance slightly. And then you can push three to, like, pull out the knife or push one to pull out the spear, whatever you want. I'm going to drop this tin can. All right. So uh, I'm going to continue exploring the house, and I want to keep... I'm not going to loot too heavily until I see what's in here, because I don't want to get um, wrecked. <laughs> by a zombie. Right now. I just... I don't want that. Okay, there's dog food. Disgusting. Um, there's an empty kettle, which I do like to carry water around. Uh, and there's some cereal. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat um, all of the cereal. We're actually really hungry. Okay, and we're doing really well. I'm going to drink the water. Okay, and these patio doors, can I do anything with them? You can't lock them. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, that's good. They're at least locked. Uh, but if we wanted, okay, out of these rip sheets, you know, we could try to make curtains if we were really interested in doing that. All right, so... Um, we could say, you know, um, uh, we can't really attach, you need to make a curtain for a window, but I don't know if you can do it for a patio slider. So I'm just going to leave that there. Um, it need to be, oh. Yeah, no, it would need to be, like, carpentry or something like that. Um, that's fine. Okay, let's keep looking. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make sure we can see this. And I'm just holding out my spear, and I'm just going to get close to this door and push E to open it. This is the garage. And it looks great. No bad, bad things in there. All right, and let's just check this room. It's a closet. Make sure it's empty. It is. Oh my god, there's so much good stuff in this house. And then this room, okay. Looking pretty decent. Is this a bathroom? It is. And this is empty. Um, I think this house is totally safe. So, let's fortify. This might be our new um, base of operations. Uh, for at least temporarily. We can't make this our actual base because the patio slider is going to be hard to fortify, but we can um, loot this house extensively. Um, it's got tweezers, which we want as a first aid item. It has vitamins, okay? Um, which, this is what you can do, you know, to reduce fatigue if you get it. You really want to just take any kind of um, first aid item you can find. It, we want the garbage bag, sure. And let's just look around a little bit. Razor, toothbrush. Okay. And let's now we can loot this house. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's got uh, a balaclava. This is, it's got like all this warm weather clothing. I'm sorry, cold weather clothing. Things to keep you warm is what I should say. So this is actually pretty fantastic. Um, this scarf will help our neck so we can wear it. And be super stylish with our scarf and get some neck protection. And let's see what's in here. Oh, baby. Jackpot, people. Fanny pack. We got a belt pack. All right, we're going to wear this baby um, on our front. And now we have a container that we... It's not big, okay? Its capacity is really small. But it's phenomenal um, because we have this two-handed weapon to have some kind of extra carrying. So I'm going to put things in there. Like, uh, let's see what I can fit in there. 
the toilet bag, the tweezers. I like to put all first aid items in there if I can. Adhesive tape, uh, pens, pencils. Let's see what we can drag in there. Put all that in there. Um, and you can see it's almost already full. It doesn't hold a ton, but it's super good. It can't fit the extra, the extra bag of vitamins, um, which is a shame. Now this... Um, yeah, we can only carry a sack around. So I'm going to drop it on the ground. It's nice, and the tote bag is nice, but we'd have to carry it uh, in our hand. And I want to use both hands for this weapon. Um, I can put the map in the fanny pack. And now the fanny pack, you can see it's totally full. But it relieves some of our burden of carrying, which is good enough for me. All right, so let's keep looking around this place. And what you got on the bedside table? Nothing. Okay. The real money was in this room. All right. There is a crowbar and a screwdriver, uh, which is insane. All right. So we're going to take... We might use the crowbar. It's not in good condition. All right. We'll take the screwdriver and carry it. The crowbar I'd like, but it's super heavy. Like, I could try to put this on my belt. It has use, okay? But the problem... Oh, there's a there's some stuff in this toolbox. Um, all right. Uh, we'll just equip this on the secondary so we can just get the stuff out of this toolbox. And there's uh, some screws and a wrench. So I'm actually going to take this stuff out and just drop it onto the ground. And then I'm going to drop that. The wrench, it actually does reasonable damage. We could actually think about using a wrench um, as our weapon. The weapon, the music got a little scary there. Not always an indicator, but sometimes it... No, it's okay. Sometimes it's an indicator that things have changed. Um, so there's an empty gas can. You always want to watch out for this. Um, this is a great item. You want gas. Oh, here we go. Duct tape and planks. So now, actually, with two duct tapes, I can be awesome and attach that to my belt let me just check in this box over here there's all kinds of planks this is a great house with like lots of construction stuff in it uh, what's in this box over here it's empty oh it's fertilizer so if we want to farm that's great all right so i'm going to attach um the kitchen knife to the spear i could also attach the screwdriver but i'm going to attach that knife there and then now um we have a spear with a knife and you can see that the condition is not great but the damage has gone up even further i'm going to put it back on here and then now we've got like this makeshift makeshift like halberd bardiche <laughs> it looks great all right what do we got on the shelf we got food oh my gosh we found the key for the car how about that all right so um, we want to take this key and put it on our key ring so we can actually drive that key, or I'm sorry, drive that car now. We don't need to do that now, but the fact that we have a car that we don't have to hotwire that we can drive right now is absolutely amazing. Love, love it. Love every bit of that. Okay, um, so things are turning around for us. Um, there's a bandage here. You can click and just check our bandage. It got dirty. I'm going to remove it. Okay, um, and check... Our laceration is infected, okay, um, which is a shame. So what we want to do is uh, we can apply a bandage with just a bandage, okay? And this will be better for us than the uh, the dirty bandage. You got to watch. Th they get dirty real fast, okay? So we have to be very careful of that. We got to monitor that. Um, I can, if I want, you know, uh, take some vitamins but it's not going to help with my infection. We need to find some uh, alcohol or uh, something to clean this with. This guy had a pistol, okay? And it has 10 out of 15 bullets, which is kind of cool. But we don't need a gun. All right, they've got a TV. We're going to close the curtains. Keep this place four to five they have some bhs they have a bhs on woodcraft um which we could probably watch to help raise our carpentry and they've got some food uh, what else do they have over here 
saucepan, dish towel. I'm looking for like, they've got a water bottle. I mean, that's cool, but there's some other stuff that we would want like disinfectant, but I'm not seeing it and that's fine. We, we got really lucky in this house. Um, it had a bunch of good stuff. We even got a car. So let's not... I can't complain. Alright. Now, if we wanted to... Um, yeah. Okay. We need some nails and such. I'm just going to... Uh, click pick up. On this chair and we're gonna go ahead and set it down right here I'm gonna just hold left click to rotate it around the way I want like that so that helps out a little bit I mean you know it makes me feel slightly better uh, and we could also <laughs> we could try to move the table in the way of the sliding door but you know, it, it's not the best idea. Huh, it like disassembled itself. Um, maybe I can't carry it because it's too big. Here, actually, no, wait. Maybe you have to pick it up in pieces. Um, no. All right, then. Well, never mind. Moving that is not going to happen, but we can pick up this. Maybe I click disassemble? Nah. Anyway, I'm going to place this here. Like, uh, let me rotate that. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to um, rotate this. Yep. Uh oh, something's happening. Somebody's beating its door is what I hear. I don't see it out there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tab, and I'm going to pick up this. And then now what we need to do is go ahead and place this here, but I'm going to rotate it like that. And I don't know how much this will help to have chairs here, but it just makes me feel psychologically slightly better. I'm going to click on this. And is somebody come, trying to come in? Nah, we're good. I'm just jumpy. great okay so let's go ahead and drink check our wound and our bandage is still there we're in minor pain but our health is okay okay um there's some food here if we were hungry but i think really all we need to do right now uh is eat or i'm sorry sleep so let's go to the bedroom which bedroom do we want to use I mean, this is the nicest one. So, you know, we can close the door. And we can... Go ahead... And pick up this chair. And we're going to place the chair... Over here. Like that. It's heavy. So it's not easy for us to move it, but um, we'll get it there. Got it. All right. I mean, all in all, we're doing well. We had my typical combat snafu because I'm inept at combat, but we made it to a house where we got a car. We found a key for the car. We crafted our first spear. We put a knife on the spear. Um, we 
got a bunch of planks. We found a fanny pack, okay? So this house uh, has turned out to be a real boon for us. And we're going to perhaps use this as our new point of radiation where we can explore the map a little bit and go down here, maybe, right? And just kind of avoid where all these other zombies went and see what these other houses have in store for us. If we can find a two-story home, my goodness, wouldn't that be nice? Um, but we're getting uh, much closer to having uh, a, a secure location for this character, and we're making good progress. So, everyone, I hope you're still finding this uh, to be fun and informative. Thank you so much for watching. Please post any questions you have about Project Zomboid in the comments below. And I hope you are staying alive in the zombie apocalypse and having fun with this game. Take care.